Every year, more than 30 million Americans suffer from headaches, facial pressure, and nasal congestion caused by sinus infections. To explain these sinus conditions, we spoke with Dr. Johnny Arruda of Redlands Community Hospital. Dr. Arruda explains the function of the sinus cavity. The, the sinuses, we don't know for sure, but they, um, they're air-filled cavities in our facial skeleton. Um, in a traumatic situation, it can help absorb an impact. Um, it, it may have a resonating effect also with our speech and singing. Unfortunately, the openings into our sinuses tend to be very small. So even a little bit of swelling or inflammation or allergy can cause obstruction of these uh, openings. And then it doesn't equalize the pressure well and that can cause severe pain. Um, and, and then once it doesn't equalize the pressure, uh, you can get an inflammatory response and build up um, purulence pus in your sinus, literally, or, or huge polyps can develop, usually associated with allergy. The lining of our sinus and the nose and down into the airway, there's some similarities there. And, um, and so if you have a problem with one, it tends to be associated with other. Like patients with asthma frequently have chronic sinus issues, even problems with the ears because those are air-filled cavities also. So there, there can be an association between multiple things. When people come to my office with concerns of uh, their sinuses, frequently they'll, they'll complain of facial pressure and discomfort, um, sensitivity of the upper teeth, uh, a lot of times associated with difficulty breathing through the nose. We diagnose it th through a, a series of, of things. The history is perhaps the most important thing initially, and then looking at the nose seeing if there's obstruction or a narrowing of an airway. What's helpful also is to use a fiber optic uh, scope or a rigid scope and you can look further up into the nasal cavity because it's a very narrow and it can be tough to tell just from looking at casually at the front. So uh, with the fiber optic you can tell details of the anatomy or if there's actual purulence or bleeding which could point to a tumor perhaps. Uh, some patients will have problems that go for months off and on or years. Uh, it can vary though. You can have a patient with severe symptoms, you do films and actually the sinuses look pretty clear. Another person's not complaining that much, you do films and they, they're totally filled with uh, mucus and pus and so forth. So the, unfortunately the symptoms don't correlate with the severity of the disease sometimes. Dr. Aruda describes the treatments for sinus problems. The mainstay of treatment is antibiotics and decongestants. Today we also have some nasal steroid sprays that can reduce the inflammation in your nose and try to maintain the opening of the sinuses. Um, irrigating the nose with salt water can be very helpful. If I have someone with a severe obstruction of their nose, I'll frequently get at least plain x-rays to make sure the sinuses are clear. And if they're not, then we try to manage that medically, and then we go on from there and get a CAT scan. The CAT scan will give uh, extreme details, show the, all the details of the anatomy, and it can also be a roadmap for the surgery, if a surgery is required. Our specialty tends to see the patients who have failed the simple uh, interventions, the medical management, the irrigation, the steroid sprays, uh, and frequently there's a mechanical issue that needs to be corrected. Uh, especially if you can breathe clearly through the nose, you're less likely to have chronic sinus issues. And you may not need direct sinus surgery. It may be more an issue of just breathing better. If the patient has severe underlying issues like allergies, uh, perhaps lung disease also, and, and severe large polyps, there can be a recurrence rate. And one way to avoid recurrence is to have the allergist involved also. So if you treat the underlying issue, then you're less likely to have the recurring polyps and, and so forth. But if it's a straightforward sinus that was obstructed and you relieve the obstruction, success is excellent long term.